Hey everyone, welcome to another Road for a Q video and the continuation of my road to an open table. And we're now on the third, yeah, the third part of this four part routine, which will lead up to an open table. And this one I'm calling the pink diamond. And that is not a euphemism. This is a diamond of reds around the pink spot. And uh, there you see, I've set it out. Um, essentially, the balls should be set out so that they're not covering it so the red should be set out so they're not covering each other into the pockets so they're about a foot away from the roughly a foot away from the uh, pink spot basically uh, and i'm just straightening them up uh, in this one i recommend especially if it's going to take you multiple attempts like it takes me i recommend actually marking the positions of the reds on the table so i just get my old uh, triangle chalk and just put a little bit of uh, chalk on the table I hate doing it, but it's the easiest way to mark the table. So yeah, just putting a bit of uh, bit of chalk there where the red should go. That makes it just a bit quicker and easier to put the red back. Uh, you know, when you when you need to start the routine again or whatever. Uh, because trust me, it uh, gets quite annoying if you have to. Uh, I have done it without marking the table, and it gets quite annoying if you have to try and figure it out each time. So off we go. I'll oh, just put in some. Putting some money in the lights, I think. Yeah, there we go. As with usual these sessions, I'm not going to show you every attempt. I'm just going to show you a couple of the best ones. Uh, but this one, even though this is the first time on camera I've tried this uh, uh, routine, this, this routine, uh, I did it basically first time on camera. So unlike others where I've had to do, do a part B, then uh, this one is not going to be part B. So yeah, so a couple of attempts to start with, and then the very, obviously the very last attempt. Obviously, please don't skip to the end to the very last attempt. Please watch the whole video. That would be very kind. But um, yeah, the last attempt is the one I'm successful. Left myself a bit awkward here, which is not ideal. got this alternate alternative camera angle which uh, I don't use very often because it's not ideally placed but just something else to mix it up a bit so what you're kind of aiming for is to essentially stop the white if you imagine uh, a spot halfway between each red if you can get the white to stop there after every shot, essentially you, you'll have a shot. That's 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 what I'm thinking. Obviously, it depends which red you've got left, I suppose. But um, but yeah, this one's this one's quite an easy one. Uh, I'd say this is probably the easiest of the three. Uh, sorry, the four parts to this routine. So if you manage the bulk lineup relatively easily, and you manage the blue rectangle relatively easy, then I don't think you'll have any trouble with this one, to be honest. a bit of a delicate screw but I screwed a bit too far obviously had the red as a bit of a stopper but yeah I'm a bit uh, st yeah well not really on this pink but I'm gonna try and play it barman seems to be whistling the uh, coronation street theme but I was sort of messing about with different start positions I wasn't quite happy with the start positions I was using uh, so I kept changing it up a little bit. Bar's just opening. Pretty happy with that pink. Just roll through for the red into the middle. There we go, nicely back for the pink in the middle here. Uh, sorry, pink in the left corner, really. 
should be able to get onto the red below the pink. Ooh, just, oh, missed the pink, but also went a bit too far on the red. That's a shame. So we go again. I think this is probably my favorite start position, just rolling through for this pink back into the middle. I certainly like taking one of the side reds first because they are probably the slightly more difficult ones to get position on. So yeah, nicely on this red below the pink. Just got a slight angle, so I'm slightly low, lower than straight, so I've just got a slight angle to get back up for the pink into the middle. Now, what angle have I got here? Can I roll through for the red uh, back to the uh, left middle? That's probably what I'm thinking. If I've got enough, of it. yeah, I'm certainly hitting top of the white. So, Ooh, oh, actually, that's maybe not too bad. Maybe I can get the red, uh, the side red now. Just do a sort of little stun screw shot out for the pink. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. There we go. So I'm perhaps a little high on this pink. Am I straight? Can I just roll through for the red? Or do I need to come off the, the black cushion essentially and back out for the red? Or can I just screw back? Actually, yeah, I just screw back for the red in the middle, can I? Yeah, I'm a little bit low on this red though, so it's going to be slightly tricky to hold for the pink. But I might be able to hold, if you play it slow enough and screw, then I might be able to hold for the pink into the left corner pocket, basically the, pick, the pocket I'm picking the pink out of. There's a lot of peas in that sentence. Let's see if I can do this. It's a bit more of an angle than it looks, I think, on the screen. Switch the camera for no reason. Yeah, I think I just about hold enough. It's a, ooh. yeah, it's uh, it's a bit it's a bit awkward, but you know this is should be a shot I can do. Lean over, get to it quite comfortably. Just taking my time. Don't really want to have to do this routine again. And there we go. And that is it. That is that routine. And that is a break of 28. So yeah, not too bad. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Like the video if you do. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. I'll probably do the next step of this sometime next week.